Now that the cinematic universe uh, is so well known, the MCU is something people understand, people enjoy, people like, and I think what people enjoy most about it is that they're all different. We try to make all of these films stand apart. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. We get a bunch of Marvel Phase 4 movie news. You may have heard about Disney shifting some movie dates around. Their master schedule has changed a little bit. Tom Holland has also been talking about more Spider-Man films, so I'll explain everything. There's a new round of that Spider-Man PS4 game giveaway. All you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave a Marvel-related comment on the video. I'll name a new winner at the end of this. The reason why Marvel just changed their master movie schedule is because they have nine movies that are dated. They're all untitled Marvel films, although we know what some of them are going to be. One of them was dated for July 31st, 2020, and that was just taken off the schedule outright. Now there are only two Marvel movies scheduled for that year, but this doesn't include all the new movies that are going to get when they get Deadpool, the X-Men films, and Fantastic Four. Because you have to remember that those movies will be released by Disney. Dark Phoenix will probably be the first disney release Marvel movie, even though technically it won't be Kevin Feige Marvel, it'll be Fox Marvel. Disney will just release it in theaters next summer as a Disney film instead of 20th Century Fox. After that in New Mutants, every other Marvel movie will have come through Kevin Feige on a creative level. So when Drew Goddard and Ryan Reynolds wind up making their X-Force movie, that'll be in conjunction with Kevin Feige's creative input. Although Drew Goddard is really awesome and they're doing really awesome things with the Deadpool movies, I have a feeling he'll just let them do what they do best. The rumor as to why they removed that Marvel movie off the schedule in July is probably because it was going to be when they were releasing Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Because that's on indefinite hold now, there's no reason to keep it on the schedule, so they just take it off. You may have heard about them looking for a new female director to do James Gunn's script. When we get something official about that, I'll do a new video, but for now, it's just blowing in the wind. There was news recently about Benedict Wong at a fan convention talking about Doctor Strange 2, saying that he hoped to start filming that before the end of the year. Now, that's not confirmation, but it is possible that they're ready to go with that and they fast-track it because of the hole that's being left by Guardians 3. There's a movie coming out in November 2020 that's just an untitled Marvel film. That's probably going to wind up being the Black Widow film. Typically what happens is, is there's a movie that they're not totally sure whether or not it's going to be a huge bang out hit. They'll release it in that November date. Like when they did the first Doctor Strange movie, they weren't sure how it was going to do. Benedict Cumberbatch is really, really popular, but you just don't know till you know. So they put it in November. It did fine. So they'll probably do the same thing with the Black Widow movie. Usually what studios do when they know they have a slam dunk on their hands, like an Avengers movie, is they'll release it in the spring or the summer. There are a couple exceptions to that, like Black Panther is obviously making crazy money. They released that in February. The first Deadpool movie was a February movie. It made crazy money. So it doesn't matter quite as much now, but still spring-summer movies tend to be the biggest ones of the year. You probably heard the rumors about Tom Holland letting slip that Marvel and Sony are planning on doing a third Spider-Man film together. Tom Holland probably has an idea for what's going on, but plans change over time. So what'll happen is, is after they release Far From Home next summer, then you'll start hearing them talking about what's happening with the future of Spider-Man between Marvel and Sony. The success of the Venom movie will mostly lead to more Venom movies. It's Sony getting bolder with those other spin-offs like Morbius, the Kraven the Hunter movie. They finally officially confirmed Black Panther 2 with Ryan Coogler. So they said that they probably won't see that till February 2021 just because Ryan Coogler wants to take a little extra time to get the script right so that it can be a really big movie because Black Panther overperformed so much that it's going to be really hard to beat that. But based on what Kevin Feige is saying about how they're getting weirder and weirder in the Marvel Universe doing really cool things that they would have never been brave enough to try before, then it'll wind up being something really, really cool. Because it's one of the new crown jewels of the Marvel franchise to make as many royalty puns as possible. Right now there's no date for the Eternals movie, but it seems like they already have a script for that so they could start filming next year. That's one of the franchises that Kevin Feige is referring to when he says that they're going to be trying weirder, crazier stuff that you've never seen before. And then of course there will be a fifth Avengers film, probably not till that May 6th, 2022 date. But the really cool thing that just happened is, is Tom Hiddleston did a big Comic-Con panel. I put some of the Avengers 4 talk that he did in another video, but here's a clip of him talking about Kevin Feige's creative process that will give you an idea for how crazy they're going to get in Phase 4. I think it's also, isn't it, understanding the process behind making these films. And as I think everybody at Marvel, I think they, ha they take huge confidence with every new leap. Um, 
Kevin Feige has told me that, that the fact that people enjoyed the first Thor film gave him the confidence to dream Guardians of the Galaxy into existence. He thought, okay, people accept that superheroes are going to leave Earth and go into space. And, and then when Guardians worked, it was like he knew he could start cooking Infinity War. Um, I think so, as Marvel have grown in, in, in their extraordinary and unprecedented creative confidence, I think I felt more confident in their processes. I mean, it's, it's, so, it's so easy to rewrite your own history. I remember being terrified making the first Avengers film because it wasn't a given that it was going to work. It, it, it was, it, it, was um, it only worked based on how hard we worked to make it work. So you hear what Tom Hiddleston says about Kevin Feige getting bolder and bolder with his choices, particularly Infinity War and Avengers 4. Now think about what he's going to do once they get their hands on the X-Men Fantastic Four IP. It's going to be crazy. The one thing that he did confirm, though, is that there would be more crossovers, Thor Ragnarok, Spider-Man Homecoming style, where you see characters popping up in other people's films, even if they're not co-headlining. Like Hulk was a big main character throughout Thor Ragnarok, but even though Iron Man was hyped up as being a big presence in Homecoming, he was really only in the film for less than 10 minutes. So you see a lot of that stuff too, where you see flashbacks or you see like those funny Captain America serials where they include characters, but it's only in messages or flashbacks or other funny ways. Spider-Man Far From Home is probably an even better example of that because of all the different London stuff we've been seeing with him popping up in Venice in the boat with Nick Fury, them in London with Maria Hill, Happy Hogan showing up. So you get a little bit of the Marvel Universe in everybody's movies in different forms without necessarily them overtaking the entire film. Like the plot of Far From Home will still revolve around Peter saving the day. He just gets a little bit of advice from other people and a little bit of help when it's necessary. A lot of really weird crossovers all connected by this through line of the Avengers films. First 10 years, it was Thanos and the Infinity Gauntlet. Next 10 years will probably be something on a more multiversal level. But we'll obviously, we'll get teasers for that when we start seeing footage for Avengers 4. So let me know in the comments below, which Phase 4 movie are you most hyped up for right now? Daredevil Season 3 is out. I'll be doing new videos for that soon. Leave all your requests in the comments below. Congratulations, John Doe. You're the giveaway winner from my last big Marvel video. Please email me on the About page of my channel so I can get your details. Click here to learn about Netflix canceling Iron Fist and Luke Cage. And click here for my breakdown of that Avengers 4 trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.